Welcome back. This is Robert Strickland again. We're designing a cushion rectangle, checkerboard cushion rectangle. This is lesson three in a series of lessons. So we finished the crown and uh, now we're ready to work on the pavilion. So I'm going to click in the top view anywhere and click zoom out to zoom out again. And now we're going to transfer the stone. So we're going to use the transfer icon. Oops, I double clicked it. Let's just click it once. Okay, for Omni Design, uh, what I like to do is I like to cut a cone, a temporary facets to the f that'll that'll help me. And these are just used in construction. It's really not terribly important how many facets there are. So I'll cut uh, something divisible by ninety six. So let's use. Uh, 24. 24 facets. And uh, I'll enter an index of 96. Now, I don't know how deep to cut these. I want to cut them until one of the facets gets to my girdle line. So I'm going to cut them too shallow to start with. Let's try that again. Angle, let's say 40 degrees. And index of 24. I'm just going to give it a point up here somewhere. I know that from experience. Okay, I have failed on my attempt to cut <laughs> 24 facets. Let's try that again. And also I see that I'm not, well, it doesn't matter. So let me undo. Don't know what I did wrong, but I'll do it again. 24 <laughs> is my symmetry, 24 fold mirror image symmetry. My angle is 40, and my index is 96. And I want a point on this edge that I know is too high. Use to cut and cut. Okay, so now we've got our temporary facets cut, and I can see which one of these facets is going to hit the edge of the let me zoom in to this view here. Zoom in. And I'm going to just recut these facets, but I'm going to give it the index of this facet. So click on that facet. I'm going to copy its index and I'm going to copy its angle. But I'm going to give it a meet point that will establish my girdle line. When doing girdle thickness, a point for girdle thickness, sometimes you want to hold down the control key and that'll let you get closer a thinner girdle than you would be able to get otherwise. I'm going to leave my girdle a little fat just so we can see it on the screen here. So holding down the control key I'll click on that edge and then use to cut. And now I'll recut those facets. Jimcat is warning me that it'll have to cut off a bunch of facets and it asks if it wants me to keep them as a preform and I'm going to say no because I'm just recutting existing facets. Okay, so now I have 16, I mean I have 24, um, actually I have 18 girdle facets. And uh, I haven't thought through that, but they're just temporary anyway, so let's not worry about that too much now. Okay, so now the, these, this is just to cut a cone. And uh, what I'm going to do now is starting at this corner of the stone I'm gonna cut my final omni facets and I'm just gonna to cut to this point and this point in the center and this point this point in the center and this point and this point to the center to make those three facets and uh, there's other ways of doing omni preform but this is my preferred way so anyway Symmetry is two-fold mirror image symmetry for these set of facets. So I'm going to give it a point here and a point here and a point here. Three points. Uh, you can see that the index is a fractional number. It's 10.996. So I'm just going to click clear right now and use an index of 11. Use to cut, 
to meet that girdle outline and I want to meet the center point and we'll cut that facet okay next I'm gonna get rid of this facet this facet is in the way it's obscuring this edge so let's delete that tier and then I want to meet the next facet I want to go from here to here and I want it to meet the same center point uh, you can see that my index is 5.88 so I'm going to clear that and type in 6 for the index so I'm just using three points to compute an angle in an index is what I did and but I'm only using the index because I know the, the two points that I really want and that's the this point and this point that I just entered so let's cut that one now these points are in the way so let me get rid of this facet this tier and that tier and I want to cut a facet that goes across here to there now I know its index already its index is 96 so let's give it an index of 96 and a point here and a point here okay so now we've got this side done and let's zoom out of that view and let's zoom in to this view I need to repeat that process across here okay I'm a little annoyed that uh, my temporary facet I got this little wedge facet but these need to go away anyway so let's delete this tier that made this one big enough to select incidentally if you can't select a facet if it's too small to select if you have a sliver then you can go down to the cutting instruction view and delete it there you can figure out which facet it is <laughs> okay delete tier so I want to meet this point and this point and my culet my temporary center point I mean my yeah my, it's actually my final center point so click here use to cut click here use to cut click here use to cut oh it says my index is 16 so let's clear this type in an index of 16 meet this point and meet this point and let's cut it okay let's delete this tier let's see what we get and that that was a temporary facet let's see what we get if we enter this point and this point and this point we get an index of 22 so let's clear that index of 22 meet point here meet point here and cut the facet and it says I'm gonna lose two and that's okay okay that so that that gave us a level line here because that facet is at the same index as is that girdle that's perfectly fine okay next we need to cut our baryon facets to make a, a level line uh, you can use uh, first let's tangent ratio scale so let's let's see what angles we have here we've got uh, index of you probably can't see it but down here in the, in the status line I can just hover over a facet I got 40 and a half 40 and a half 40 and a quarter a little over 40 and a little over 40 so the shallowest one is this one and I'm going to make that one 39 and a half I've already looked at the optics of the stone and 39 and a half is pretty good for this that's below the critical angle for quartz but it doesn't matter because it's a checkerboard uh, these facets will reflect refract the light so that it never enters normal to the to the culet like you would get with a table so with the apex design you can actually go below the critical angle of the stone okay so zoom in to this view never remember if that's the side or the end or do I really 
care all that much. Okay, so I want a level girdle line across here. So I'm going to give it a meet point. I want it to meet here. I know that. And I know I want the same index as that facet. So I just did a, I just double clicked, which deleted it here. So I'll do undo. Let's try again. Meet point here. Use to cut. Move inside this girdle facet. Click in it and copy its index because I want a level line. And remember, to get a level line, I've got to have my baryon facets to be the same index positions as my girdle facets. So I'll copy that and then dismiss the dialog box. And angle, uh, 65 or 70 degrees, but take your pick. I'm gonna use 65. So now I've got the start of a level girdle line and I can continue that now by doing click here, use to cut, click here, use to cut, and click in this facet and I'll copy its index. Okay, so now we got our level girdle line on this side of the stone. Let's zoom out and zoom in on this view. And we'll continue that girdle, girdle line on around this way. So meet point here, same index as that facet. We're through with that. Okay, so now what angle do we use? Well, it's arbitrary here, so I'll use 65 again. That'll make one less change of angle for our poor cutter that has to cut this thing. Okay, so we're gonna go from here to here and we're going to continue our level girdle line and we're going to steal the index of this, copy the index of this facet. So copy it and cut. Now one more and we're done. Meet this point, meet this point, and we're going to copy our index which should be 96, yes it is, and we'll cut that one. Okay, so let's now transfer we're through cutting our pavilion and zoom out. Click and zoom out. Okay. Um, our stone. The next thing I like to do after I finish, get all the facets for a stone, I like to scale, position and reposition and scale the stone. So edit, I like to center it so that the center of z-axis is centered on the center of mass, which are the defaults for this. So z, we're scooting the stone up and down, and we're centering it about its center of mass, center of gravity. So if you toss the air, the stone up in the air and spun it, this is the point about which it would spin naturally. And that just makes the spin view look physically nice. And it also makes sure the stone fits on the screen. Okay, so edit. Next thing I like to do is scale the stone so that it's as big as can be conveniently. Chimcat has a way of doing that. So scale, click the All button, and I'm going to click Automatic. And that will make the stone as large as conveniently possible to fit inside the circle of index gears. Okay, this completes uh, the facet design portion of our cushion, checkerboard cushion rectangle. In the next lesson, we're going to annotate this diagram, edit the cutting order, and uh, turn it into a finished faceting diagram.